So I've gone ahead and finished my retro computer. I added some bolts. Uh, this is done in modeling. And then I've gone ahead and done materials. And I decided that I would do this uh, off camera and then just talk to you about it because really it takes, um, it can take quite a while to do materials and figure out what it is I'm trying to do and what software I want to use. Um, I certainly could do more material videos in the future, but it does take uh, a, a while to figure things out. And so I thought I would just show you what I've got and I would explain a little bit about how I did it and what software I used. And then if you're really interested, I can uh, show you how I did it uh, more specifically. So here's the retro computer. And if I just move ahead, I've got some tips here. So um, some of these items are decals um, or basically graphics that I created in another program. Um, particularly, uh, I do them in Flash. A lot of people would use Photoshop or, or maybe GIMP or maybe even buy uh, like a decal pack. And so what I've done here is, first of all, this is rendered in Eevee, all right? Um, it was very similar in Cycles, but uh, a little bit less realistic in Eevee, which is something I wanted, and a lot faster. And so I decided I would use Eevee for this. So I created these decals in Flash, these ones too, the ones on the side, uh, as opposed to this, which is actual geometry, which doesn't look a lot different in this image here. So again, it, it just goes to show that you don't have to use geometry. You could certainly use decals. And uh, I applied these with shrink wrap onto the surface. All right. So those are, are shrink wrap decals, and, and that is as well. Um, Let's just move along here. Um, for the dots that you see here going around, these were arrayed in a circle. And basically what I did is I created uh, one dot and I had an empty right around the knob there, right in the middle. And I put on an array and I, um, I set it to follow the empty and I rotated the empty and that allowed me to move the dots around. So that's a technique that I've used before, but I could show you sometime if you're interested. Um, whereas these little dashes here, I actually took the circle, uh, a part of the, the knob itself, and I um, scaled it out, and I took the vertices. And I had, let's say I had 20 vertices, and then I used checker deselect to um, select every other vertice, and I deleted it, and then I scaled it, and uh, I ended up getting a nice concentric uh, pattern around each knob. Okay, so that's how I did that kind of stuff. The general body of, of this has some dust and some scratches and some smudges. And I created that with the Smudger Pro add-on. It's about a $30 uh, add-on that works right in Blender doesn't uh, require you to UV unwrap your model um, and it's uh, it's something that I have used before and I like it quite a bit so I uh, that's how I just got a, a little bit of imperfection I'll show you a couple of other images as well um, I had created the keys of course in Blender themselves uh, itself and then um, what I did is I um, I straightened them out so that they were uh, uh, you know flat as opposed to rotated and i should have done that right from the start i had to go back and rotate them up straight again and then i looked down on them and i i, I uv'd them and then i brought I, um, I exported that uv layout into my graphics program which i tend to use flash but again most people would probably use photoshop so i brought it into my graphics program and then i just um typed on top of that or added graphics on top of that for the various keys uh, things that i wanted okay so like f1 f2 and all these kind of things i did make it exactly like the reference image that i've seen um, i did my own thing to some extent and then i brought that back into uh, blender and i applied it i sort of shrink wrapped it onto the keys and um, i did a little bit of um stuff with the color and the color ramp and stuff to sharpen them up a little bit so that you could uh, see them a little bit better. So that's what I did there. 
um, other text I did straight in Blender and shrink wrapped it to the uh, to the body. So all of this text is just uh, done in Blender. Uh, it's not really smudged out or scraped out to make uh, that would look a little bit more realistic, but I didn't do that here. Um, these are just emission uh, materials and um, I did it in EV so there's a little bit of bloom you'll also know that there's a little bit of sharpening that I did in the compositor uh, like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 something like that just to, to sharpen the image up a little bit um, with respect to the screen itself you can see some smudges and some imperfections here and there I did that with Substance Painter. I just took the screen in and uh, did some stuff uh, on the screen. So there's there's some imperfections around it. I didn't want to mess it up too much. I wanted this to be like partially readable. Uh, this screen itself uh, is sort of following like the alien isolation computer that you would go into. Um, and so that's how I made uh, the imperfections. And then I messed around in Blender a little bit with that. And the graphic itself, I, again, I created in another software, which was uh, um, Flash, and uh, and I just uh, applied it to the UV of the of the screen itself. And that's it. I mean, there's more things that you could do, of course, but I, <laughs> I have to wrap this up at some point. So uh, I'll just show you another uh, couple of just images, and you can see again the uh, imperfections here and there. But that's. That's roughly uh, what it looks like. What I decided on um, that I would that I would do for this. All right. So that's the retro PC, and then just for fun, I took it into Substance Painter and I just threw a whole bunch of crap at it, just a bunch of dirt and scratches and stuff like that. Um, I don't think it looks it's like something I would use, but I I just thought it would be fun to do. All right, so thank you very much for watching the series, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and otherwise, let's move on to something new.